All right, so Kingston just contacted me and uh, actually sent me some stuff. And in a previous review that I had just put up, uh, we did a Kingston 16 gig SD card um, to just verify or to see what the, the speeds are. And they came out great. Um, they also sent me here a 16 gig Kingston uh, data traveler. Um, USB 3, USB 2 compatible USB stick. So we're going to actually run that through uh, Blackmagic's uh, disk speed test software on the MacBook and uh, see what kind of speeds we're getting out of it. So stay tuned. Here's the little USB Kingston, their data traveler, SE962, I believe it's called, or SE9G2 possibly. Um, really small, which I, I guess is awesome actually. It's uh, got a little hook, hook, hoop, circle, whatever you want to call it, on the top so that you can put it on a keychain, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, luckily it has that really, like it's small, you know, I like how the companies are going small with stuff, but you know, if I were just have this loose in my pocket, I'd probably lose it, but, uh, let's see how fast it goes. So yeah, here we go. All right. So we're going to, uh, fire up black magic here and I got the USB stick actually in the MacBook here and we are going to give it a quick stress test. So we're going to select the drive, which is that Kingston. So this is their USB 3. And we are going to make sure it's set to a 5 gig stress. Now, I have noticed that once you start doing these, let it keep running, uh, the later ones seem to, I don't know if it's because the physical disk just kind of fills up with temporary data and it can't move or delete it fast enough. But it seems the real or accurate um, results are the first couple that it fires back at you. You may get a couple flawed ones in the center, but here we go. All right, so our read tests, nice coming in around between 40 and 50. Uh, we'll drop a little bit. So let's say between 30, 30 and 40 ish. Uh, reads uh, nice and fast. We're breaking 100, no problem. Um, and I've tested this thing earlier on today, and these are pretty constant test results coming back from these. So we're seeing on average somewhere in the 20s for right and we're seeing on the average uh, anywhere from you know usually 100 up to 120s uh, for read speeds. So you'll see that last one I get that read speed low right and I believe it's what's happening is that there's too much strain going on the on the USB stick because of its size being that it's only a 16 gig. But you're getting some good good readings here. So like I said, coming in around the 20-ish the or so write speeds, but our read speeds are nice and high. Always constantly coming in um, mid 110, 115, somewhere in that range. So uh, for a nice little portable USB stick that you can carry around in your keychain, I think it's great to be able to move files to. Just be prepared like most things. Uh, write speeds are going to be slower, so it takes a little bit more time to get the files on there but getting the files off and physically using the files um, nice and fast. Actually, that's faster than some of my actual drives on my older machines. So uh, even based on this, I'd be able to actually do probably some editing directly from footage that's on that USB. So nothing wrong with that. So there you go, guys. That's the uh, Kingston Data Traveler SE9 G2 USB stick um, from, uh, from Kingston. Awesome. And thanks to Kingston for sending that to me. Cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.